Dear StockX customer, thank you for being a valued member of our community. Since our inception, StockX has aimed to provide customers access to the products they love at fair and transparent market prices. In the spirit of that transparency, we are writing to inform you of an upcoming change to our market pricing. Beginning on April 22nd, buyers on StockX will see a new 3% processing fee added to the purchase price of an item. Any bids placed prior to April 22nd will not be subject to the new fee. Any updates to existing bids made after April 22nd will be subject to the new fee. For more details, look man, y'all tripping. StockX, y'all tripping. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual back with another banger today guys on a very special video. StockX, StockX, StockX. April 15th, StockX sent out an email to its customers letting us know that there will be a new processing fee on the buyer's end come April 22nd. Everybody went from eBay to StockX because of the fees that eBay was killing us with. They were hitting us with a 10% fee on their end and then when you got the money from PayPal into your account, you got hit with like a 2.93% fee or percent you know, taken out on top of that. To the nearest hundred dollar, I guess that would basically be ten percent, uh, ten dollars from you to eBay, and then I think like two point seven dollars from PayPal, taken from you know once you get your money, PayPal will take their little percent, like two three dollars. It's not really that much, but when you're dealing in the numbers you're dealing with when it comes to sneakers, the thousands, the the hundreds, you know, the high end those fees tend to go up as well. But StockX came around, gave us a new type of platform in a way, a new type of structure. 8.5 selling fees and, you know, not that much after that. You know what I'm saying? You, you When you get paid through PayPal, there was no deduction. It was straight drop, whatever it is. But more and more since then, fees have been added. Sales taxes have been added. And it's making it very, very hard to want to stick with them. Now listen here, I just bought a pair of shoes from StockX. You'll see that video within the next couple of days. So I'm not here to say don't buy from StockX. Buy from whoever. StockX, GOAT, Stadium Goods, whoever. I, I burnt all my bridges at the end of the day. I'm here to talk just straight up with you. Like StockX probably hates me because I speak on the stuff that they do. You know what I'm saying? I got hacked off of them. I got plenty of things that happened to me in the past, but I still shop with them at the end of the day. So they can, you know, feel how they want to feel. I still they still get my money. They still get business from me at the end of the day. So it is what it is. But besides that point, I wanted to dive into the numbers here a little bit here and there, even though I suck at math, but actually break things down and kind of figure out what's going on and see is StockX headed for a very bad downturn or is something else going on? I don't know. I mean, I don't see really any pros out of this, just cons. But let's dive into it. All right, guys. So I recently bought some sneakers off of StockX and the first time yet, yeah, I got hit with a shipping fee and now a sales tax fee. Authentication is free though, it's free, it's free. But coming from the buyer's end, it, it's becoming harder now to wanna shop with them. When you go and get stuff off eBay, you buy stuff from eBay as a, as, as a, as a buyer, it, it's usually free shipping and, and that's it. There's no other things you're getting hit with. You may get hit with sales tax here and there depending on where the buyer is from. If the buyer's in your state, you gotta usually pay up those type of sales tax for that state, that's why StockX is now in Georgia, so we have to pay sales tax when we buy from StockX from Georgia. But, uh, you know, that's that's what's been going on. As far as a seller, you have a transaction fee and a payment processing fee. The transaction fee is 8.5, which I think can go down more. The more and more you buy, you know, you sell through them and you get all your little seller points or whatever the hell it is. And then you have a payment processing fee of 3%. Now that 3% has been added on to the buyer's end at the end of the day, I think it's going to be more so the seller that's going to get affected by that. This is a buyer's market at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I got money. I want to buy this shoe. Oh, you don't want to sell it to me? All right, well, he want to sell it to me. It's competition constantly going on on StockX. There's con it's constantly, you know, sellers out there that are overselling, over, you know, dropping their prices lower and left and right till someone wants to jump the gun and go and buy it. So at the end of the day, it's going to be the seller that's going to have to compromise for that. If you know, if, if StockX wants to charge that customer, you know, if, if a shoe's going for $280, the customer's going to be like, I don't know if I want to spend that $280 now because I know that I'm going to have to add on, you know, a additional uh, shipping fee and I got to add on additional money on this processing fee now. I'm not going to buy for that much. I'm going to calculate how much all that's going to be 
and then I'm going to tell you how much I want to spend afterwards. And then it's the seller who's going to have to make the decision, well, do I want to sell it for that low? I do have this transaction fee and I do have this processing fee. I don't know. But more than likely, they want their money, so they're going to sell it. So it's going to hurt the sellers more so than the buyers. The buyers can go spend money elsewhere. So again, the sellers once again are going to hurt. If I come to StockX and I don't want to buy because I got to hit with all these processing fees and I want to go to GOAT, well, now all your sellers on that platform are getting hurt because they're losing more and more customers on that platform. Now, they're going to be going and putting their shoes on other websites, so StockX as a whole is now going to get hurt. Now, look, why am I talking about StockX? Because they still rank supreme at the end of the day. They're still the cream of the crop. They're still at the top. You know, GOAT is right there. You know, Stadium Goods, SneakerCon app, all these other apps are there. You know, they, they, they're close, but StockX is still the top dog. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. Now, I wanted to break down some numbers. Now, please, guys, I'm going to be rounding numbers. I suck when it comes to math, especially in front of the camera. You guys make me nervous, and I always fumble my numbers around. I, I suck at math, okay? It is what it is. I'm the Floyd Mayweather of math when it comes to this. But I do know how to count them money up. I do know how to count them Benjamins when they come in. So don't worry about that. But I wanted to break down to you a uh, transaction that I had a little while back and basically take out all the fees and see how much money is going in in fees, sales tax, into a single purchase of a regular shoe. I bought a shoe for $220. The shipping on that was $13.95. The sales tax was $18.72. And the authentication fee was free. Um, the total on that was $252.67. So basically, uh, I paid uh, $32.67 in sales tax and shipping fees. Uh, $32 right there. We'll just, we'll, just, we'll just put $32 so I can remember it easier. $32 in fees. Now, let's put it on the buyer's end here. $32, remember that. The buyer's end, he sold the shoes for $220. So, he got hit with a 8%, 8.5% they state is what they say so you got hit with $18 on that 18.7 we're gonna say 19 we're gonna say 19 19 19 19 and then three percent payment processing fee six dollars seven dollars six point six so seven plus 19 26 plus 32 so the total number of fees was 58 bucks the the buyer got hit with more fees than the seller now it's not going to hit like that on everybody because not everybody's going to have these sales taxes. Once again, I'm getting sales taxes because I'm in Georgia. StockX is now in Georgia. They have a, a buy and sell area in Georgia, so that's why I'm paying that. But as a buyer, I paid $32, and the seller, I think they paid, I, I forgot the math already, but I think they, the seller was like 19 All right, my bad. See, all right, my brain already died. My brain already died on the math. My, my brain already died on the math. That's why I hate this. I, I, my math sucks. That's why I be saying Jordan 10s when it's a Jordan 11. Like numbers, I'm, I'm, I'm number illiterate, bro. 19 for the transaction fee and then seven for the payment processing. That's a total of $26 for the seller and $32 for the buyer. Total amount, $58, okay, 58 bucks. So it's a lot going on there, it's a lot going on. Now, 58 bucks for this one transaction is not bad. I mean, I mean, you might say it's not bad. At least, I mean, for me, I, I didn't, I didn't like it. I mean, 220 plus plus another 32 dollars on top. I was better off going and buy the shoe that I bought was sitting on other websites. I was better off just going and buying it there, paying for shipping and no sales tax. So after a while, it starts to not make sense no more. It's starting to not make any sense at all. Um, and when you really do the numbers, I, I just don't want to do it and, and drive you guys crazy. But if you really break down the numbers and how much money you're going to be dropping in shoes and all that, it's equivalent to not worse than what eBay was already doing us in the past. 8.5% from them. So they're, they're, they dropped their they dropped their fees, was that, 1.5% uh, lower than what eBay was doing. And then they have a payment processing fee of 3%. They're doing that. That payment processing fee, matter of fact, may be... Nah, I wouldn't say it's undercover PayPal because they, they, they're they paying directly from... PayPal used to charge us 2.9%. And now they're charging us 3%. So I don't know if if that's coming from PayPal or what, but it's funny that it's 3% from them and PayPal was once charging us 2.9%. And when they pay us through PayPal, it's direct. There's no cuts or nothing. It's exactly what you get through your payout. 
but I do find that funny. But anyways, besides the point, what I'm trying to say here is, if I'm selling a pair of shoes for $100, they're gonna take $8.50 for their you know, transaction fee. So let's do the math real quick. $100, 8.5%, they're gonna take 8.50. That's $91.50. Then they're gonna take an additional 3% from the from that that's 2.70 uh 2.74 so i'm just gonna put 91 dollars minus 2.74 because i can't remember numbers that well that's 88 bucks and 26 cents so that's what you're doing but on the other end on the buyer's end he's gonna have to be paying sales tax a new processing fee and all that so he might not even want to buy your shoe for 100 dollars now He's like, bro, I'm not trying to buy that shoe for $100 because I know if I buy it for $100, I'm going to be hit with a shipping fee and a sales tax fee. I want to spend 100 flat. So I'm going to spend 100 flat and I want you to pay basically my sales tax and my shipping fee. So if you do the calculations, I, I, bro, I can't even do it at this point. My brain going to die if I try to do it. But basically the equivalent of this, what I'm saying is, say for instance that you know, you're charging $160 plus shipping for a pair of sneakers. And the buyer comes back and says, hey man, I ain't paying for shipping. I'll pay you 160 ship. And you're like, you know what, I'll take it. Say you take it, right? You And you get that 160. Now you're gonna have to cover the cost of shipping. That, that's what's gonna be happening on the end on StockX now. People aren't gonna be wanting to pay all those fees. So, hey man, I ain't, I ain't paying $100 plus all those fees. I'll pay $80 though straight up and then pay the fees. And after the fees are being paid, you'll end up paying $100 in total. So you'll pay $80 and then you'll pay the $3 transaction fee, the $3, the 3% 3 trans, uh, transaction fee they got going, and then the shipping fee. Basically, all those fees and sales tax will enter into around $20. So you'll end up paying $100 flat, but really $80 of that will be going to the actual buyer. That's what's going to be going on. So overall, everything's going to be dropping even more. So the sellers are going to be getting hit and the buyers, the prices are going to have to drop to compensate for the fees. And when you look at all the numbers and do all the math beside that, it's pretty much equivalent, if not probably worse than what eBay was doing on a more simpler scale, 10% and then a 2.9% from PayPal. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? I, I hope I didn't lose a lot of y'all because it's a lot of math and I suck at describing math, but I just think that this wasn't a good idea from StockX. I know they're trying to expand. Maybe from their security ends, they need to expand on that. Uh, authentication, uh, this authentication feed is free all the time. So I don't see where that, you know, I don't think that 3% would be going towards them, supposedly, unless that's what it is. More people have to ship. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what is going on, but this fee, I think, is definitely not a good look. And uh, moving forward, it might be uh, very, they're not going to die. StockX is not going to end but I don't see it being well for them in the long run. Um, this is the opportunity for other apps to take over. I've seen that SneakerCon, they said they're doing zero seller fees. eBay is already doing zero seller fees. Who knows what Goat is gonna do next. It's, it's an opportunity and these other apps are gonna seize on that moment. StockX, uh, I don't think it's a good idea. You better come with something that shows that where that 3% is going. You know what I'm saying? If you're keeping the same model but you're adding on fees, but we're not seeing anything in return, then you're losing customers. If you're adding something onto that, this is where our money's going, this is where our investment is going, I, I respect that. Um, I know you gotta pay your customers at the end of the day, but I don't know, man. You guys are the cream of the crop. I don't know what what happened or what y'all trying to do. All I can say is I guess we gotta look forward to it. So just pay attention. Think about the numbers deep down realize that and and you should see that going forward this is definitely not going to be a good look you typically sold a shoe for a hundred dollars you know and you get hit with eight eight dollar and fifty cent transaction fee plus the damn shipping is free and then the processing fee of three percent you're looking at like make you making like 88 dollars out of that well nowadays you know the customer is not going to want to spend a hundred dollars plus all this other stuff the customer wants to spend a hundred dollars flat so he's going to ask you or he's going to drop his bid down to where his total payout to you would be hundred dollars flat. You know what I'm saying? You, you know when you go to StockX and you try to make a purchase, it tells you like total payout or total price you're gonna spend. They're gonna make it to where it says a hundred dollars if they wanna buy a shoe for hundred dollars. And this is say buyer's marketing in the day, you can hold out as much as you can, but 
You're going to want that money eventually. So it is what it is. I want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. If you think this is a bad thing, you think it'll be, it's nothing, people making a big deal out of it. I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? Once you start allowing these things, they only get bigger and bigger as time goes on. So we'll have to see what goes on and keep moving at that. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, I'll probably go further into this video on the Two Wild Podcast. If you want to talk more about it, feel free. The link to that will be down below in the description. I more than likely probably will go live tomorrow on that. Make sure you follow me over on Twitch as well. And uh, we can talk more about this deeper and deeper as it goes on. But it ain't a good look, man. It ain't a good look. I hope I, I, hope I broke it down. If, if you totally understood where I was coming from in this video... Please let me know because I had to shoot this video like two, three times. I ain't going to cap. I was just not able. Like I just feel like I was take, throwing y'all everywhere. I hope I could break the fees down as best as I possibly could and um, do the numbers up there and stuff and, and just do the adding right. And if I messed up, I'll try my best to throw numbers on the screen with the correct numbers. So if I say like 88.3 and it's really 84 point whatever, just pay attention with the after edits you say because, um, yeah, please. I love y'all. I'm out, man. It's your boy, Tony D2. Wow, checking in, checking out. Peace.